how good are these guys? They're on another level, really. I mean, if you think about it. Man. Who are these guys? Holy fuck. Yo, what the fuck, man? Who am I playing against? Hello. My name is Almond Granola, and this is the part of the video where I prove that my opinion is relevant with an over-edited clip from the one game I beat, insert streamer name here. Alright, enough of that. Let's talk content. My last video was a critically acclaimed hit, but it is high as number two Valorant video by my mother and each of my friends. I achieved things I never thought were possible, such as Steel mute reacting to just the audio live on stream. We all know she's peeking every round anyways, so let's use that to our advantage. In these next few clips, I want to focus on what it's like- At the end of the day though, I failed some of my viewers, and I decided to right that wrong by teaching just a piece of my bountiful attacker side expertise. Wait, 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 can we go 5C this round? Every round I grab the orb, so this time just smoke the thing like normal, none of us peek. And then we're all going to line up right here on this wall, and I'm going to wall us over the smoke. Three, two, one. <gasps> this is throwing in style, running a default in Valorant. Okay, okay. So first things first, we have to establish some facts. There are three options on attacker side. Rush A, Rush B, and lose the game. Now, lose the game is actually the option where we have the most flexibility. And I like to lose the game by imploring my team to run a strategy called the default. I believe the reason this strategy is so good at losing rounds is actually due to how little it's understood and used at lower ranks. This causes a kind of cascading effect that means that even as you get higher and higher on your journey to Radiant, your teammates will remain relatively inexperienced in defaulting, thus allowing for it to still be an effective means to lose RR. So how do I define default then? Well, I'd like to show you with an example. The plan here is to take lower mid using an Omen Smoke Cat, a Rain of Flash mid, and a Sova Drone to recon. We also have Cypher and Omen watching our flanks from passive slash off angles to catch pushing defenders. Now at this point, you might think that this play is relatively safe, and after getting three opening picks, you might be tempted to try to win rounds using this technique. This would be your fatal error, as it would mean you are reliant on your team watching your flank rather than focusing on some kind of broken bridge. Predictably, this round ends just as intended with a quick loss on the books. It might be tough to imagine any player lower than Radiant after watching my flawless gameplay, so I took the liberty of doing some investigative journalism, looking for perspective from the community. Our first guest didn't complain about his team even once during the stream, blaming himself instead. This was something very off-putting for a diehard 100 Thieves Steel fan like myself. Unlucky, really. All the same, Welcome, Iron2, Jmoose7722. Running a default, is it? God, I'm gonna get this wrong and everyone's gonna be like laughing at me or something. Running a default is like shooting while running, probably. I'm, I'm an idiot. But that's my final answer, I'll just go with that. Clearly, the word running was too much of a pitfall. So, for our next guest, YouTube OE, a Bronze 3 from the exotic EU region, we ask, what does it mean when your team says, let's default? To be honest, it's my first time to hear that's default. I couldn't tell you I'm sorry. Maybe it's a side? Not bad. Awe has correctly identified this as a strategy. Let's see if a goal player can do better. Do you know what default is? Yeah, man. Right here? Or like right here? As you can see, the default is an elusive concept. And while you can always count on your team to leave no utility or people watching the flank, there's a little known yet scientifically proven fact that upon hearing the word default, your teammates will begin to push into the opponent's crosshairs Fuck, I should have done that. with as little utility as possible. Don't peek it. Oh, I thought we were peeking it. it like now that we've heard from the community, maybe we should take a moment and step back to listen to the wise words of a pro player. You'll say, let's default, and then your teammates are like, what's that? <laughs> Just be like, let's spread the map, guys. Let's go slow. I'll go work showers. Can you guys hold short A? Can one of you hold hookah? You know, and you'll find that, like, especially at lower ranks, people just push stuff. 
You guys ever notice someone calls something and you guys go do a four or like a five man like B hit on bind, let's say, and you're grouping to do the hit and you're grouping to do the hit and like the clock is ticking down, the clock is ticking down, and then you finally hit the site and there's three people on the site and there's already two people like insta flanking you from short A. It's because people just walk push stuff, especially at lower ranks because like they're, you haven't been holding the push one round, so it's just free. And until you default make it so the other team feels like they can't just walk through short a or showers and flank you once you stop them doing it they'll probably stop if you kill them trying to push showers in the first 15 seconds they're not going to do it the next round because they're like oh they're holding for us now now i take c9 relics words as a challenge but in his example teammates both listen to calls and have the self-control to contain themselves from eco peaking obviously he's living in an alternate reality so it's a moot point I swear. Insanity, really. 